one day that God has given me, we are made for signs and wonders. Nothing will stop me. I am going to have my harvest. I don't care whether I'm in order or not in order. Whether I'm under protocol or no protocol. Whether it is legal or it's not legal. I am going to get my miracle. If you dare to be out of order tonight to reach God. If you dare to be out of protocol tonight to reach God. I tell you your new season. Your new season is here. The Lord said I'm healing you. The world break down. The saints should break for the joy. With light and power and big of vitality. And if Christ ever healed, he can heal today. The crusade of the century. Welcome the Archbishop Professor Benson in the house. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, forevermore. Shut hallelujah. He came, he saw, and he conquered. saved the first thing that bothered me most in Christianity was the inability for people to have a will to live they accepted everything the devil brought their way as if it didn't matter he gave them power against It's not enough to come to church and rattle with your tongue. Do something with the power that Jesus gave you. If you are going to preach the gospel, don't imitate any man that failed. Don't be too humble to look like a man who failed. Look for a man who has succeeded. The only man who will criticize you and you listen or you or you in your life is the man that have done twice what you are trying to do once the only person when he criticizes you and you say listen is the person that have done twice what you are trying to do once so when jesus called the first 12 disciples I love the place he said and when he had called the twelve he gave them power against not power for but against power against all unclean spirit
St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10. Verse 1. When he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirit. Say with me, power against. I didn't hear you. Did you say it? Power One more time. Power again. All unclean spirits. Unclean spirits. Spirit. Spirit. To cast them out. And to heal all manner of sickness. And all manner of disease. Amen. When I got saved, the first thing that bothered me most in Christianity was the inability for people to have a will to live. They accepted everything the devil brought their way as if it didn't matter. Here you are a man that previously had a nice home. The enemy came and attacked him, the house sold. Now he's living in rented house. It doesn't matter. Here you are a man that had a car and he's accidented and he's not insured and he lost it. Now he's walking, he's trekking. It doesn't matter. Here you are with a man married with a lovely wife. They have four children and the children grew up instead of the love to increase they are fighting the marriage is broken it doesn't matter here you are a pastor with a church of 2,000 members some elders disagree with his doctrine and disagree with his conduct and disagree with his character not because he's seen but because they are just angry that he's growing too much and the church start to fall from 2,000 to 1,000 to 500 to 200 and it doesn't matter I began to look at Christians. When will it matter if it doesn't matter when it matters? <laughs> if everything God gave you is taken by the devil and it doesn't matter, when will it matter? Then people teach you and say, please take it easy. Others say, be, 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 be patient. The rest of them says, don't worry yourself. The Lord gave, the Lord took. So many negative training came to the body of Christ that I began to say, show me a man that has preached the gospel in this nation in the last 70 years that stood to the end with testimony of success. Many end up in bankruptcy. I can name at the tip of my finger. The biggest television ministry that started this country ended in bankruptcy. Evangelists ended in bankruptcy. Enemies came in, robbed them, the joy of success and testimony. And he looks and he seems as if God cannot continue in the life of continuity of success from beginning to the end. And yet... That is not God's character. God's character is he that has begun a good work in you will finish it. Do you hear what I'm saying? There's an attack of the devil upon the church as never before. The enemy has loosened hell. Every demon that is specialized in different areas of oppression have been sent on duty and yet the greatest nation in the face of the earth has become the headquarter of devil's oppression and the church is not even aware so what did jesus do 
when he called the 12 disciples he knew that the ministry you are involving the business you are involving the family you are involving will be attacked by the devil take jesus life for example no man ever lived in human flesh that suffered the attack that jesus suffered from when he was in the womb a law was enacted that when any boy is born in this city he should be killed he was attacked he finally was born when he was born there was no room in the inn he was born in a manger but thank God he didn't die in the manger as a young boy born in a manger his parents have not this is how I put it Benny this will help you born poor attacked by the fools and sponsored by the wise fools want to kill Christ the wise men came and brought gold silver frankincense out of that gold that the wise men brought his parents paid for transportation that took them to Egypt did you hear me fools want to kill him wise men came to take him away do you hear what I'm saying Jesus believed in progressive growth he was born in a manger he died not in a manger buried in the best tomb the world has ever had he had his first meal in a manger he had his last meal in an upper room that's how to live start from the pit end it upstairs Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Start with a Volkswagen, end up with Cadillac. Yeah. Don't ride a Mercedes and end with a bicycle. That is not God. God does not humiliate people. He can humble you. And any time God humble you is for himself, not for other people. Yeah. The Bible says humble yourself under the almighty God. It is a humiliate yourself before ABC or CNN or Ted Koppel. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So when people are telling you, well, if you serve God, you can get to the peak and start to come now. That's not God. God is able to sustain to the end. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. Let us become the first generation that believe that he that began a good work in us will finish it. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah for me. Hallelujah. Don't tell me every preacher that you know ended in disgrace ended in shame ended in death ended in sickness ended in debt ended in this ended no god can through us by this conference mighty warriors conference say god we are ready to say to the devil stop it if you cheated those who didn't know what we know you can't cheat us somebody hear what i'm saying if others who live before us now i'm saying this to all of you who are pastors look at anaheim hmm? i don't want to go by name this morning look at big pastor the first television pastor in this country ended in bankruptcy i can confide in these people in the room and tell them the names i'm talking now i don't think i trust you enough to tell you all but it was not God that was not able to hold them to the end. Somewhere, somehow, after some years, the devil get jealous and say to them, you can't make it to the end with success. And because they don't know that they can stand to the end with success, they fail. So when Jesus called the first 12 disciples i love the place he said and when he had called
call the twelve he gave them power against not power for but against power against all unclean spirit poverty is not clean we have power against poverty sickness is not clean we have power against sickness attack by the council and by the county and by the area and by the district and by the mayor and by the senator and by the worldly government attack from them is not clean and jesus gave us power against all unclean spirits somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I give you an illustration a, a story june this year i brought dr tl osborne to nigeria for two months i prepared for a crusade big city crusade opening night 500,000 people came to the crusade the whole city the stadium everywhere jammed no road to pass the crusade has to start by 7 people started arriving there by 11 a.m the following morning the team of nigeria wants to play cameroon so we cannot use the stadium the next night because the team that came killed the grass the crowd was too much that the grass on the field were killed so the crusade is cancelled they know me now you can't do that you can't do that you can't do that so i went to the stadium my tv crew all the scaffold of our light of our microphone removed and i said fine i went on tv and radio i announced if you do not let us use the stadium thunder and lightning will come down this night no football match and the match will be cancelled and rain with four 24 hours are you you done wrong to me in three hours Ida Hosa, we are sorry 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 power against power against everybody say power against what do you think mighty warriors meant hamburger in the pulpit One of the prophets was coming to town. He just lost his hair. And the boy said, uh-uh. Look at the bald head man. And the prophet says, Is that what your parent taught you? Lion, come out and devour him. And the Bible said, Lion came and devoured the boy. And fear came. What did Peter do to Ananias and Sapphira? The money didn't belong to the church, it belonged to Ananias and Sapphira. But if you join the church, be loyal to the church. They told lies. So Peter said, fine. The money was your own. And the nurse and Sapphira did not die because they paid half money, but because they told lies. Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. Peter said, is it how much you sold? He said, yeah. He said, fine. You lied to the Holy Ghost. Right now. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> His wife came. Safara, your husband said you sold your house. Is this how much you sold it? Oh, yes. Yes, my darling. Okay. The feet of them that bury your husband have not been washed. Go. Some of you are so entangled with religion that you think religion is Christianity. Christianity is power. Yeah. Say power. Power. And they gave me equipment and helped me to move to another stadium. When we moved, the attendance doubled. Same day, 
Then they begged me to pray for the footballers. I prayed for them. I prophesied that they are going to Nigeria would defeat the other country because they apologized to me. And I said, two goals to kneel. And we scored two goals to kneel. just wake up and say oh that's a man of God the next man to attack he died he gave them power against it's not enough to come to church and rattle with your tongue do something with the power that Jesus gave you don't play with your life He gave them power against. Power against. Unclean spirits. A pastor in Phoenix took offering for me five nights. 27,000. When I was going, he gave me 2,000. I said, you took this offering for Africa? He said, yes. That's what we got. I said, five nights? He said, yeah, give me. I said, well, I said, thank you. <laughs> I said, uh, if that's what you got, hallelujah. But if that's not, bye-bye. <laughs> the third week I left, minor rain fell. Heavy wind came and took the roof of his church. Half a million lost. When you are dealing with this man, you are dealing with a dangerous man. This is not banana leaf. That's a man of God. This is a man of God. This is a man of God. Don't deal with them as you are dealing with worldly people. When you touch them, you are touching the anointed. It's a covenant I have from God. If you touch me, you finish. This is not cheap. That dangerous zone. If you have nothing good to say, shut your mouth. Amen. Father, from today, I put the anointing in the hand of God. In Jesus' name, we decree that any hand that stretched to this life that is wrong to cause destruction and death shall not succeed. But your mouth shall be the flame of fire. What you bind on earth is bound in heaven. What you lose on earth is lost in heaven. In the name of Jesus, you have the anointing that no one shall touch you and go free. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 That's it. Be careful from today. Don't go near. Unless if you have good things to say. He gave them power to war against. What do you think Jesus meant when he said power against all unclean spirits? I went to a city. And some press men arranged for a woman to hide in my hotel room. Huh? I went to bed. I started sleeping. But two hours later, somebody had a mental problem on the wardrobe. Fire! 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 I said, watch fire. I checked the bathroom. I didn't think anybody could be in the wardrobe. When she was crying, fire, 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 fire. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. I heard the sound. I opened the door, nothing. Finally, I decided to open the wardrobe. Here was a woman, all the shirts burnt to ashes with fire. Hallelujah. Don't try it. 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 He gave them power against unclean spirits.
she came out the dress torn her skin peeling i said what happened why, why did you he said press man gave me money to say when you start sleeping i should come out of the wardrobe and lie with you so they can say you committed adultery she went to hospital seven days later she died touch not my anointed I'm sorry i'm telling you dangerous stories this morning but that's the gospel that's the gospel what you are used to is hanky panky double decker banana cheese message why did he give them power to cast out devils to heal the sick to raise the dead to open blind eyes i never go to a crusade without miracle happening you come to my city my house is like train station people night and the government kings nobles touch me touch me touch me touch my robe touch my hand touch my head that's what they come for and it works i say it works if you are going to be involved in a ministry that will bring glory to god get out of washy washy sermons find where god is doing something lively and be a part of that thing there's no need for a pastor to come and say oh well we've been in this city for five years demons didn't let us succeed what demons witches can let us succeed who witches light and dark light and darkness who run from the other say darkness there's a story i was told they said there's a land where there's never sunlight 24 hours every day and so somebody came to visit sun and said there's a city we are told that every day of the year is dark so son said let me go there and see so son left sun left home and said let me go see that land he came and spent three months looking for that land he couldn't find so he said i've been here for three months i'm looking for darkness <laughs> you didn't hear my story they said how could you find it he said you told me that the place is always dark every day i've been here three months i've never seen darkness and they said until you leave darkness will never come back amen. how many will say amen to that amen. he gave them power against did you hear what i'm saying against unclean spirit he gave them power we were going to build our first miracle center church can you be writing all i'm saying since when you come a very big man in the land's office a neighbor who owned the land next to him to us gave him money and said tell the government not to approve the building plan for us he came and removed all the pegs of the building of the foundation I went to him like a man. I said, friend, this is not my house. This is God's house. Don't take the pegs away. It belongs to God. I said, no! You are violating the rules. You are doing... I said, excuse me, you can't do it. <laughs> he said, why not? I said, well, bye-bye. <laughs> I said, if you leave us alone, you keep your job. If you don't leave us alone, I move you. He said, you don't work in the government. I said, I move you. 
because God gave me power to bind and to lose. He gave them power against all unclean spirits. I said, friend, this is not my house. If you remove the peg of my house, fine. But this is God's house. He said, who is God? I said, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye <laughs> but the spirit told me that that man is going to become my friend so I drove to his office I went to the boss I said I'm here in anger I said somebody has disturbed my spirit and he's touching God he's touching me he said who? I gave him the name he said don't be angry the man that was the overall head for the state Pleaded dead with me. So I said, okay. Bye-bye. I left. The next morning, they moved him from Orlando, so to say, to Fort Lauderdale. They transferred him. And he said, I'm not going. So the boss said, you lose your job. Either you go or you lose your job. So he said, I'm going. He left. Six months later, he saw me. He said, Dr. Idahosa, I want to apologize to you for what I did. I said, okay, do you want to come back? He said, yes. I took telephone. I called his boss. They brought him back. <laughs> so when we needed money to put roof, he gave me $200. For the same building, he said, you couldn't build. He gave them power against unclean spirits. with the gospel you are joking with the gospel Jesus said the prince of the darkness of this world has come he has no part in me if you I thank God for this conference if it wasn't for this conference Christianity in America had three months left by January, all of you would have been in greater trouble than you ever had. But thank God, mighty warriors come from. Can somebody say hallelujah? It has almost become fearful for pastor to ride good car now in America. To own good home. Because the press is coming. But we can stop it. I say we can stop it. I say we can stop it. We can stop it. Devil, stop it. Devil, stop it. He gave them power against unclean spirit. Remember my first message in this place? If I be a man of God. <laughs> you don't play with God's people. How oh, you say his name is Big John Hall. It's not just haul, it can haul you. <laughs> you can touch anything. 
You don't touch my God. You understand what I'm talking? It's time for the church to say, I have power. The world is making jest of the church as if we are orphans. We are not orphans. We are not orphans. We have our Heavenly Father. He's in charge of heaven and earth. And power belongs to God. Say hallelujah. He called them and gave them power against unclean spirits. What are you doing with this power? You think, oh, I just, are you anointed? Yes. How do you know? I fell yesterday. <laughs> he didn't give them power to fall. He gave them power to lift those who fell. <laughs> to heal all manner of sickness. With my two eyes, I've seen blind eyes open. I've seen deaf ears on stop. I've seen lame walk. I've seen a child in our crusade in Kenya, Kamukunji field. 1973, you were there. A child was brought to one of our crusades, born with no eye bulbs, flat face. Five days she came to this, this woman brought the son to the crusade. Had face, had what? This one. But no eyeball. Had face, but no eyeball. I asked the woman, what happened? He said, when she was pregnant, they bewitched her. So that child was born with no eyeball. First night, nothing happened. Blind saw. One night, 11 people got out of wheelchair. The third night, 17 blind people, totally blind, saw. But this woman, nothing happened. So she called my wife every evening. Tell your husband to give my child eyes. I have prayed for blind eyes to open, but I've never seen someone with no eye in my life. So my wife said, he can pray for if the child was blind so she said the power that opened blind eye can he not give new eyes yeah. <laughs> everybody say power <laughs> say power. power the last night she came to the meeting in Kenya crusade start in the afternoon 9 a.m. she was on the field she came very close to the platform there are about 200 ministers in my platform. When I came, he said, <laughs> So I said, fine. I looked. I said, my wife, where are we going to pass when we close? This woman is going to hold me. I said, she's desperate. She said, yeah, when you ask them to close their eyes, you can go. So I said, good, that's a good one. I preached, I prayed, and I said, now, lay your hand in where you have your problem. I'm going to ask God to open blind eyes or stop deaf ears, which is my crusade character. You can't lay hand on 500,000 people. And she put two fingers in the place she thought the eye should be. Wow. While I was rebuking the buker, Somebody say hallelujah. <laughs> Boy began to scream. Began to cry. I'm looking for a way to escape. The boy is crying. So, 
and I said do now what you couldn't do before and this woman began to jump and shout I thought she was jumping to come and meet me <laughs> so I tried to jump down she said he can see he can see he can see I'm trying to go out so she spoke Swahili that the boy has eyeball here am I trying to escape here's the woman shouting that the boy has two eyeball so I jump back that's why you can't take credit for miracle because <laughs> yeah. I was trying to run away <laughs> God was at home <laughs> I said God was at home <laughs> all manner of sicknesses Hallelujah. we brought the boy out and it was in newspaper in Kenya the nation boy born with no eyeball received miracle Two bright eyeballs were created by miracle of God. Somebody say hallelujah. That's why you are here. Almighty warriors. It's the dawning of a new day. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He gave them power to heal all manner of diseases. Here today, people gimmick, people do what they like. Send you bandages, send you toilet roll, send you oil, send you dried bread, send you pictures, and ask you to put your hand on it, which is not bad. But what happens? Do you have the power when it comes to tough time? I believe in point of contact. I believe in it. But the greatest miracle that can happen in your life is the one that happened to you. Can you say amen? amen. That child, I opened, I began to weep. Three miracles has happened in my life out of the millions of miracles I've seen. The first time I saw the dumb speak. The first time I saw a leper cleanse. And the first time I saw this boy with no eyeball created by miracle. All other miracles I smile. But these three I cried. And I have seen thousands of I've laid hands on dead people. Eight have risen from dead in my ministry. But that's not my calling. I'm a bold man. I'm bold. I'm bold. Came to call me, say somebody died. I go there in anger. Say, dead, you have no right to be here. Leave in Jesus' name. He gave them power. If you are going to preach the gospel, don't imitate any man that failed. Don't be too humble to look like a man who failed. Look for a man who has succeeded. Go to Benny Hens, go to Ora Robert, go to T.L. Osborne. Don't seek cancer from a man that has done nothing. The only man who will criticize you and you listening, or you, or you, in your life, is the man that have done twice what you are trying to do once. The only person, when he criticizes you and you say listening, is the person that have done twice what you are trying to do once. If they've done nothing and they are making noise, Be like me first before you tell me what to do. You've not done one tenth of what I've done and you are making noise. The press asked me on my birthday, 51st birthday, last two months, what's the biggest problem you have ever found in your life? I said, me. They said, why? I said, because every time I believe you, I do the wrong thing. 
If I listen to what you say, I miss the mark. So I listen to God. So you didn't call me. I'm not going to give account to you. I'm giving account to God. Can somebody say hallelujah? He gave them power against. Say against. That's what I'm after. Many of you have power for this, power for this, power for this, power for this, power for that. You've never had power against. I couldn't be alive in Africa if I was having only power for. If all the power I've ever had was for, I would have been buried long ago. My city, they used to use children blood for tea. Witches and wizards tell you. Two o'clock this afternoon, I'm going to kill you. And you really die. When God raised me, say you stop it. I woke up, I said, God, I'm going to stop it. I said, how do I do that? He said, not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit. I'm going to be in your mouth to bind and to lose. I'm going to be in your mouth to set the captive free. I'm going to be in your mouth to heal the city. And I'm going to use you to send the power of demons out of this town. So I send notice to all the witches and wizards. I said, I'm here now. Government change hand. Did you hear me? <laughs> you got that. You got that. Government change hand. You have been in charge. Now I'm Jesus and me, we are in charge. spirit to cast them out when you live here on Sunday night go to your city the demon of prostitute out the demon of witchcraft out the demon of fear out the spirit that put the church down out it's not enough to use the name of Jesus turning around and falling and getting up. As child's play. Child's play. Jesus said, I see Satan coming from heaven like lightning. That's in the Bible. I saw Satan falling down from heaven like lightning. That's real spirit of demons. Don't go back from Orlando gambling with the name of Jesus. Go back, mighty warrior. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Mighty warriors! Yes. Let everybody say, You are no more afraid. Say, Yeah, I resign. I quit. Say, I resign. I resign. From fear club. From dying club. From being afraid. I resign. I resign. I quit. I quit. Jesus. Jesus. In me. In me. The, hope the hope of glory. Of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty warrior. That's why you are here. To learn how to fire up. You get back to your town and be in charge. The devil, government change hand. Government change hand. Devil, I bow to you enough. Fear, fear me. Everybody say that. Fear, fear me. It's time. It's time for fear to hear me coming and say, oh, the outside is on the way. <laughs> 
That's why you must not clap as if you are in the grave. That's why you must not sing as if you are having funeral. It takes the power and the anointing of God to sing. Dr. Hen and I were talking when Reverend Big John Hall was singing. I said, look at the talent. This height alone should frighten the devil. If you do not improve on your gift, your gift will be lost. Amen. If you don't use your talent, your talent vanish. Walk while he's dead. For night cometh when no man shall walk again. There's no city in America that needs storytelling pastors. They need devil casters. There is no city in America that needs noise-making pastors. They need devil-casting pastors. Can I tell you a secret? Then I quit. I want to tell you a secret, then I quit. You know when problem came to TV ministry? When all the big TV stars began to consult Los Angeles trick stars for style of how to get money from the people. 1970, 1985, the big ministries in America began to employ the services of the trick stars in Los Angeles to teach them how to sit on TV, how to cry, how to write mailing letters that is trickish. How to appeal for money. So none of them prayed anymore. They began to learn tricks. And the devil took advantage of their doing it in human ways. Instead of God's way. So they, they employ experts to tell you when to cry in the middle of your program. Expert to tell you how to bring your face, how to appeal for money, no gospel. And the devil said, Fine, I gave it to you, I will take it from you. They left God's business to serve tables. Nobody was talking again about missions. They substituted their vision with their ambition. So they gained ambition and lost vision. And that's what ruined TV. And even the biggest name on TV today deny that they are Christian stations. He gave them power against all unclean spirit. Go back to your church after Sunday. Tell them a new man have come from Orlando. And now the revival, revival, revival. Bring the deaf, bring the blind, bring the dumb, bring the sick, bring the lame. Lay hand. They shall recover. Heal all manners. Go back and preach prosperity. Prosperity is not from Tulsa. It's from Jesus. And it's not a white man's gospel. It's Bible gospel. Some of you blacks say, the reason I'm poor is because I'm black. It's not because you are black, because you are a dummy. noise making use your brain use your hand the bible says i shall bless the labor of your hands there's no difference between big john hall and myself one head one head two eyes two eyes two hands two hands two legs two legs what's the difference the use of the brain you put your brain in the freezer it doesn't work put it to work it gives you results 
Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. And any pastor specialized in funeral service can never have revival. Any pastor specialized in funeral service, in funeral service, can never have revival. So let the dead bury the dead. There are many pastors that will be here, but they are going to have funeral this week. I don't bury the dead. If I pray for you to get up, you refuse, someone else bury you. That's why I have 5,000 pastors. I come, I say, brother, get up. Your job has not finished. I say, get up. You refuse. Second time, get up. I take my Bible, I leave. I say, Pastor John, take care of him. I was not called for the dead. I'm called for the living. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? Some of you are so used to memorial service. Funeral service. You are not used to revival. It's time for you to be used to revival. Go back from Orlando. They say, why did Benny Hinn, why did you go to Benny Hinn's church? I went there to bring a sword home to tell the devil, shut Everything that was against you, listen to this. This is going to be my last statement of the beginning. I'm coming back here. Coming back. Sorry, my convention starts in Africa today. 52,000 people are coming. Why did you go to Orlando? I went there to collect power against everything that was against me. You hear me? All my friends now are those who believe in what I'm doing. If you don't believe in what I'm doing, you want to take my life? I report to headquarters. They take care of you. <laughs> if what happened to Jim Baker happened in Africa, the government would be on fire. My people wouldn't let that nonsense happen. Of course, anybody that tried to touch you now is touching God. <laughs> you say bye-bye. <laughs> this message and a collection of other messages are available at Iwo Media Services. Iwo Media Services. Inspirational, world-class production. There are few people.